Hello guys, a company called Sigma uh, reached out to me and they sent me this uh, watch for a quick review on my channel. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to unbox and have a look what comes in the box first. Inside the box you'll find the watch itself with a silicon black strap, it's a quick release strap, and a two pin magnetic charger. No manual this time. So quick couple of facts about the watch. Uh, the watch cost 30 US dollars on AliExpress. Obviously, if you follow the links down underneath the video, uh, you'll, you'll get some discounts and little coupons and things like that. So follow the link down below. Uh, the watch comes with a battery of 250 milliamp battery, which should last you a good 15 working days. Uh, the watch uses Bluetooth 4.0 to connect to your phone, uh, which in, in all fairness stays well connected to your phone at all the times. And also we've got a 1.3 inches across display with a resolution of 360 by 360 pixel. The watch comes with pre-installed five watch faces, which we can see right now. The watch also has an IP rating, which is IP68, meaning you can take this watch into a shower or into a swimming pool and they will be just fine. And the app this watch uses is called T-Fit, which we're gonna take a look later on. Right, so let's just dive into the watch and see uh, what sort of quick actions you've got. So from, by scrolling from top to bottom, you can see immediately that the Bluetooth is connected and it's got a little symbol to indicate that. You've got your do not disturb mode, which is that little moon icon there. You've also got some information about the watch itself, which you can see right there. And you've got your brightness. The watch is currently set to 100% brightness. I do prefer to keep it at that brightness. And finally, you've got quick access to your settings, which is very straightforward. You've got your brightness, you've got your about information. You can find your phone if you've lost it. You can scan a QR code to download the app to use with the watch and you can reset your watch. Then if you scroll from left to right uh, or from right to left, it doesn't really matter where you go, it's exactly the same menu. So the first thing you'll see is the weather. It's very simple and straightforward, just show you the weather for today. Then you've got your sleep tracking. Uh, obviously that will show you how many hours you've slept as long as you kept your watch on your wrist throughout the night. You also got your heart rate um, sensor. So we'll plonk it on and we'll see how it takes the reading. I have to say that the watch will not read any information if it's not on the wrist or if it's on a hard surface, for instance, like a table. Uh, so the sensor works only with the skin, with your hand. There we go, you can see the reading has been taken right now. And it's a fairly accurate reading. And then further, you'll find your quick information about how many steps you've done today. So for instance, if you were wearing, and finally, you've got your um, messages. Um, please ignore, ignore the fact that it's, it's, a Russian, uh, it's a Russian language, but that's how the messages will be displayed. Um, and you can't actually to reply to them, unfortunately, you can only delete and read your messages only. So that's, that's about it. And then if you scroll from bottom to top, that takes you to your main menu. So first of all, we'll see the option for your blood pressure, uh, heart rate sensor, you've got your messages. You can turn your watch off if you're not using it. Uh, you can jump into the settings, which we've seen already. You've got your sleep tracking as well. Then if we take a closer look at the sports mode, you've got things like uh, climb, cycling, run, uh, walk and swim, meaning that you can actually take your watch into the swimming pool and they should be just fine. And if you just check your steps, once again, it just shows you how many steps you've done per day. So then you've got your stopwatch. It's very simple and straightforward stopwatch. You just hit play and it starts counting your time and then you can pause it. Uh, and if you want, you can reset it just there. Um, unfortunately, the only, the only thing that I wasn't really impressed with is the fact that um, the timer runs and if I wanna escape it, if I wanna exit it and then come back and check my timer, it will, it will hit zero. So therefore you have to stay on the screen for the timer to work. Sorry, for the, for the stopwatch to work. You've got your weather uh, and that's about it. So now let's take a quick look at the actual appearance of the watch. Um, it's, it's all made out of um, aluminium, it's all metal. You've got a metal button. It's the only physical button on the watch on the right side. Uh, you've got your strap, adjustable straps, and they are quick release of straps. So you can get yourself another one of those. 
Um, they are 22 mil across, so therefore if you're gonna be looking for a different strap on AliExpress or any other platforms, uh, you're gonna be looking for 22 mil. The rear of the watch is all plastic, and this is where you've got your sensors right in the middle. And at the front, you've got a hardened glass, um, so that shouldn't scratch, scratch anytime soon. Um, and there are lots of little screen protectors on AliExpress if you wanted to buy yourself a screen protector. So what we'll do now is we'll jump into the app. I'll show you what's going on in the app and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna summarize today's video about um, Zigmer Lunar X01. All right, let's have a look at the T-Feed app. Um, as you can see on the first page, there's info about how many steps you've done, how many calories you burned, uh, your sleep tracking, blood pressure, and all those things. On the second page, this is where you can track your uh, physical activities. On the third page, you've got your device. You can see it's connected now. Uh, obviously, you can add device if need be. Um, you can synchronize, synchronize your data, um, just in case if you want to do that manually. You could use shake a picture, which is actually uh, an option that allows you to use your watch as a remote control to take a selfie if there's no, no one around. And then if we jump into the bracelet function settings, you can see um, things that you can do in here would be turn on and off options for such as uh, raise to wake up. So when you turn your wrist, the screen will automatically turn on. You can also uh, turn on the reminders for when you sit too long or if you haven't drunk enough water today. Then you get your message notifications. This is where you can input things like incoming, incoming uh, phone calls text messages and all of those social medias. Now, for those of you who follow my channel, you usually uh, would see a notification right down the bottom where it says um, other apps, uh, whereas with this one, you don't have this option. So therefore, um, unfortunately, you won't be able to see any, any other apps uh, notifications apart from this list. And you also got eight um, extra watch faces, which you can find down here but these are the only watch faces that you can download. Um, and that's about it. Yeah, let's go back to our review and we're gonna do a conclusion of today's review. So to summarize today's video, um, Zigmer Luna X01, um, they cost 30 US dollars. I think they probably um, worth it, uh, to be honest with you, because the, um, the watch that you can compare it to would be the Halo Solar, which you probably will uh, find a hard time finding the difference between two. What I found is better in Sigma is because the resolution is higher, so 360 by 360 pixel um, is a lot better than 240 on the Halo model. Plus you get more watch faces with Sigma, whereas with Halo, unfortunately, you only stuck with five watch faces. So Sigma is better in that sense. Um, Sigma is very straightforward and simple watch. You're not gonna find too many options uh, to play with and for some people it's even better because some people don't like to spend too much time researching how to operate the watch and all those things. So if you were looking at buying yourself a Halo, perhaps maybe you want to take a look at the Sigma Luna X01. So thank you very much for watching this video guys. I hope it's been helpful to you in some way and if I've missed anything don't hesitate, comment down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video.